Hi, I'm Justin Danhoff, the head of corporate governance here at Strive. Today, I want to talk about some votes that we just cast on behalf of our clients for the upcoming annual meeting of Starbucks shareholders. Let's talk about some interesting votes that Strive made on behalf of its client at today's meeting. First, the basics. There were five shareholder proposals up for consideration this year. There were three proposals that were put on by management and all eight members of the Starbucks Board of Directors were up for a vote. Let's start with the shareholder proposals that were a little more interesting than the others this year. First was a proposal put on by PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Ostensibly, this proposal called for the company to issue a report to its shareholders and the public about its plant-based milk pricing model. Now, the plant-based milk pricing is slightly more expensive because it costs more for Starbucks to deliver in its products than regular milk. Why then did PETA put this proposal on the ballot? It's a direct attack on the milking industry itself. PETA opposes cow-based milk and the methods that are used to produce cow-based milk. And so the real essence of the proposal was to pressure Starbucks to stop using regular milk full stop. Again, what we do at Strive is we look through the four corners of the proposal and get down to the essence of the proposal. And again, we voted against this proposal because it's not in the fiduciary interest of shareholders. The next interesting proposal that Strive voted on on behalf of our clients relates to Starbucks and its relationship with the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. Now, many American companies have tremendous exposure to China, but few have the exposure that Starbucks does. So the National Legal and Policy Center put a proposal on the ballot asking Starbucks to issue an audited report to shareholders about the risks of their entanglements when it comes to the number of operations and supply chain issues that it has when it comes to the Chinese Communist Party. Now, a few years back, Starbucks announced that it was going to open a store every 15 hours in China. Every 15 hours. In late 2022, Starbucks announced that by 2025, it would double its footprint in China. Folks, this would mean it would have 9,000 locations in China. Now, when Russia invaded Ukraine, Starbucks shuttered all of its stores in Russia. All of them but it only had 130 locations in Russia. Now, what's gonna happen if, let's say, China invades Taiwan? Is Starbucks gonna close all 9,000 stores by 2025? I don't know, but other shareholders don't know either, and we have a right to know as an investor. So Strive voted in favor of this proposal because it's about transparency and explaining to investors and would-be investors the actual risks that Starbucks has when it comes to its entanglements with the Chinese Communist Party. We really hope that it decides that it's going to be transparent with its shareholders because this is a real risk issue. China risk is investment risk. Let's talk about one more shareholder proposal that Strive voted on behalf of our clients. This proposal, submitted by the National Center for Public Policy Research, called on Starbucks to create a new board committee on sustainability. Now, why did they ask for this new board committee? Well, because of something called the third place policy that's instituted at Starbucks. This policy went into effect a few years ago. And what does it mean? It means that you no longer needed to be a customer to enter a Starbucks location. So naturally what happened in many major American cities with high homeless populations is that homeless and drug addicted individuals were taking over many locations. And so coincidentally, Starbucks is now closing many locations in major American cities. So they're losing out on a large customer base because of an insane policy that they put in place. Their baristas needed to know how to use Narcan to revive people as much as they needed to know how to make coffee. That's insane. Their customers, when they were going in, they could order you know, a cup of burnt coffee with a side of hepatitis. This is not a way to run a business. And so this is a risk that Starbucks created for itself that harms shareholder value. So while we think the National Center's proposal is over the target of a ripe issue that Starbucks Board of Directors really needs to address, 
we actually abstain from this vote because we don't think it's the right avenue by creating a new board committee to achieve what the board should already and management team should already be doing at Starbucks. So again, we abstain from this proposal simply because it is over the target of a problem, but it's the wrong solution. And no Starbucks ballot would be complete without talking about Strive's vote for outgoing CEO Howard Schultz. Of course, Strive voted against Mr. Schultz. Why? Let me count the ways. Perhaps there is no CEO in America that exemplifies the social justice warrior CEO over the past few decades than Mr. Schultz himself. Think about the third place policy itself. Mr. Schultz invited homeless and drug addicted folks to take over stores all across America. Stores that the company is now closing. How is that acting as a fiduciary for your shareholders? And let's talk about again, the risk that Howard Schultz is creating when it comes to doubling the amount of stores in the Chinese mainland. This is a major risk to shareholders because China risk is investment risk. Schultz owns this, but he's not being upfront and honest with shareholders about it. So again, on behalf of our clients, on the way out the door, Mr. Schultz, we're voting against you. Thank you all for coming today and for learning about how Strive votes on behalf of our clients through a sole fiduciary lens to advance excellence capitalism. As shareholder season heats up and there are more and more interesting shareholder meetings to talk about, we hope you'll come back to learn more about Strive's voting philosophy and how we act as a fiduciary on behalf of all of our clients. Thank you.